Hi guys, welcome to SHK Excel World. As you know that there are many useful tools available in Microsoft Excel, but do not forget that there are equally useful tools available in Microsoft Word as well. And some of the tools can be used in combination with more than one application. For example, we can combine the utility of tools available in Microsoft Excel with that of those available in Microsoft Word. And the tool we are talking about today is the Mail Merge. So as evident from the name of it, it is used to speed up the communication process. Either it is through general mail or through email. So these are just standard uses of mail merge. However, there are certain innovative uses of mail merge as well, which we seem to forget. We do not explore. For example, mail merge can be used to tag your library. It may be a library of your books or your DVD collection. It can also be used to send invitation letters to a long list of recipients. It can be a formal or official invitation or your personal invitation like for your birthdays. So you can create uh, a customized invitation card in Microsoft Word and merge the list of recipients from an Excel table onto your customized card and thereby you can generate multiple invitation cards in one go. So before any further delay, let us start the exercise. I'm Salim Heather from SHK Excel World and today we are going to learn how to use Mail Merge to its full capacity. So the example I'm using today is that of a company. So the company has been doing very well and it has achieved all its targets and it wants to thank to all the stakeholders including the customers, the suppliers and others for a strong business relationship over last five years and has thrown a party for some specific location at some date. So this sort of invitation is normally sent on a letterhead and not through email. Your financial information system or your management information system might be able to generate a table that contains details of each of your stakeholder. It can be your customer, your supplier, your bankers, etc., whom you are going to send the invitation. So this is a table in Microsoft Excel that has been extracted from an SQL server, which contains all the details of different stakeholders, like it contains the name, the title, the country address, email address, etc. So the target here is to pick up each individual recipient and put all the details of that particular individual into the inside address of this standardized letter. So here comes the mail merge which will create a link of the table in Excel with this standardized letter. Let me tell you that you can download both of these files, the Word and the Excel file from the links given below in the description and can practice along. So make sure that you have converted your list of addresses or recipients into a proper table format. So let us start the mail merge. Open your Word file that contains the standard letter invitation letter, go to mailings ribbon, click select recipients and click use existing list because we already have a list of recipients in Excel file. Locate your file in your hard disk. So our file contains only one sheet by the name of suppliers. Select the sheet and press OK. And as soon as you have selected the recipient list, the rest of the icons in the mailings ribbon have become active and what we need to do to insert all of the particulars of each individual recipient into this inside address is to go into the write and insert fields group in mailings ribbon and there is an option of insert merge field when you click this you can see the headings of each of the column in our excel table so because these are the field names so i am going to insert the relevant fields which I require for the inside address of my letter. First one is a contact name. Press enter, then insert contact title. Press enter, then insert the company name. Then the address and the city. This is enough for an inside address. Now if I want to preview the results, so there is an option in preview results group with the ABC icon. Just click this and you can see the particulars of the first addressee in our Excel table. And let us see if mail merge has picked up the correct particulars. It's Charlotte, purchasing manager, exotic liquids, etc. And 
go to the Excel file and see if the particulars are correct. So it's Charlotte purchasing manager, exotic liquids, 49 Gilbert Street, London. So this is a link that has been created. It's not a hard coded text. Right on the side of preview results, you can see the navigation buttons for the next record, for the last record, for the first and the previous record. You can scroll through all the records like this. You can go to the last record. So in this way, a link has been created and the mail merge is picking up data from the Excel table into your standardized letter. So one way of printing this letter is you just select the recipient from the navigation button and use a print command to print your letter. If you want to individually go through each letter and print it, but there is an advanced option or an automatic option which generates separate letter or separate page for each individual addressee in a new document and thereby you can edit each individual document to your liking. So on the right side of preview results, there is finish and merge and there are three options. We are going to use the first option first, which is edit individual documents. Click this and it will ask you for the range of records for which you want to generate individual letters. And I want to generate all the letters and press OK. So a new word file has been opened, which is not linked to a record. But if you scroll down to the new pages, for each individual addressee, a separate letter has been generated and we can go to specific letter and make changes. Once we are done with this, we can send this document to the printer. On the other hand, so if you are satisfied that the text of this standardized letter applies equally to all the recipients and you do not need to do editing for individual documents. So you can send this mail merge document directly to the printer. And once you do this, mail merge is going to pick up each individual addressee and send it along with the standardized letter to the printer. So if you want to be paper free, there is a third option to send direct emails. So mail merge is going to pick up the complete body or the complete text of your letter and will generate an email for each individual addressee. So once you click send email, you will have to tell mail merge as to which column or which field contains the email address. In our Excel table, so this email column contains the email addresses of my addressees or recipients. So mail merge has automatically identified it as the appropriate column. We can add subject line and you can select the range. Uh, I just want to send this email to all the recipients and just press OK. So what mail merge does is it will pick up the email address that has been configured with your office application. So for my case, the outlook has been configured and the mail merge is going to send these emails through my outlook. So let us see my outlook at the moment. I am not connected to the internet. So all of the 29 emails are still in my outbox. So let us open an email. So this is how mail merge has generated the email. It has picked the text of complete letter, including the date. It has picked up the subject line, which we gave while merging this document for emailing. And in this way you have automated the process of sending standard letter to multiple parties. So hope you have liked this video. Do provide your feedback through comments for my future videos and do not forget to subscribe to SHK Excel World. Thanks for watching.